And you know, the biggest change I noticed was in the brain. We have, I believe, something like 10,000 mitochondria per neuron in our brain. I think it's like one to 2,000 per muscle cell and about 5,000 per heart cell. That uh, Alzheimer's disease is actually a disease, and we call that you know, type 3 diabetes. It's, mm -hmm. it's associated with insulin resistance. We've also heard it's an inability for the brain to go through a process of autophagy and clean out the trash in those neurons. Anyone who wants to learn more beyond our discussion, look up someone, uh, look up the work of Amy Berger. And she's highlighted this very, very well in, in, in a book and numerous um, um, talks on YouTube. But yeah, basically what we see in Alzheimer's disease and other uh, neurological disorders like migraines and epilepsy is that there is this phenomenon of brain glucose hypometabolism. And basically, it's, it's like this. The brain has a, is an energy hog. It is among the highest metabolic rate organs in the body, so it has a high demand for energy. The problem is the brain becomes insulin resistant, is insulin resistant, is that it is no longer able to meet that energy. There develops an energetic gap. And because the person is eating a high starch, high sugar diet, eating every two or three hours, Insulin is constantly demanding that the body be in sugar burning mode and the brain is generally no exception to that. 